Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video I wanted to talk about how long a sword fight might last. Okay? Um, and uh, we'll look at three different things. We'll talk about long sword, sword and buckler, and uh, sword and full size shield. Now when we look at the you know, long sword fighting, okay, when we look at the literature and manuals, um, we see that the, the fight is very, very short. Okay? Um, assuming that both people want to fight, right? they want to kill each other, um, they want to come into measure Right, and, they, and they want to strike, okay? Because, you know, yes, I mean, if they stay out of measure, they can spend the whole day just kind of circling each other. Uh, but assuming that they want to actually kill each other, okay? One guy wants to kill the other. Uh, they're going to come into measure. We see that, you know, they, they come to the bind, and basically they, they're usually a thrust, you know, or for, you know, they come into the bind, and from there they do a voice out. Um, so we usually see that within one, two, tops, three movements, three fencing times, the fight is over okay and it makes sense because basically you know like 99 percent of your body is not defended all you have is this tiny little blade here to defend your body okay so 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 that's what a with a two-handed sword uh with the sword and buckler okay we're pretty much in a very similar situation we don't have a whole lot of defense with depending on the sword uh for for, for most of our defense the buckler basically just gives us a little added defense so basically, we're seeing a lot of the same stuff. You're coming in, you know, and basically you're, you're, you're coming in, you're getting blade contact with your buckler, and then you're thrusting through, okay? So, so we see that the, again, the fight ends relatively quickly, okay? Um, you know, any cuts that are made are basically short cuts around, you know, we're keeping, we're keeping the, you know, the forte of the sword there so we can control it. And usually we, you know, we're, we're looking to get those lines and thrust through. Okay, so when we look at I-33 and Talhofer, again we see that the that the that the sword and buckle plays are relatively quick. Okay, uh, now let's go to the full side shield, the wall shield. Uh, things are different here. It, uh, basically, I have a lot of defense. Let me push this back a little bit more now. Okay, so now we're fighting sword and shield on sword and shield. Okay, because I have more defense i'm in the position where i can actually come into measure and basically block strike you know um so, so basically the fight is going to last a lot longer um and for that reason I, I i have to pace myself a little bit you know but i mean that's uh um you know that makes sense the the, the tempo of a sword and shield fight usually is that basically when you come into measure you know you come in with some type of a plan execute some combinations and then you get out uh, and then you you know you, you, you reformulate another plan you come back in um, now of course you could have somebody that that comes in and is just whacking away whacking away um, you know that will typically be a person that's less experienced um, if somebody is basically just whack, whacking away you know basically what, what you will find is that an experienced person will basically get into a tight defense, right? They'll turn up, and at some point, as the other person is whacking away, um, they're gonna come out of position. They'll, they'll drop their shield, uh, and as soon as they drop their shield, basically, um, the, the, the more experienced fencer is basically gonna hit them uh, where the opening is. Okay, that, so so that's how that typically works. If you have a very aggressive, unexperienced fencer that's just on on, on, on full charge mode. Um, you know, basically they, you know, the experienced veteran defense is just going to tear up and wait for the opportunity to attack. Um, a lot of times what, what I'll do is if I got somebody that basically wants to pursue me, you know, what I'll do is I'll, I'll get on defense and I'll, you know, I'll, I'll slowly step back. What I'm trying to do is get them to pursue me a little bit because what's going to happen is the, once you start moving somebody around, um, if they're constantly on attack, 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 What's going to happen is at some point as they're moving forward, that leg is going to come forward. Okay, so they're going to, or basically the shield's going to come back and they're going to expose stuff over here. So, so basically, if you can move somebody around uh, and get them to pursue you, um, they will usually come out in front of their shield, uh, and you'll have an opportunity to to hit them safely. Okay, um, so 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 this is a big difference between. You know, fighting with, with the full size uh, sword and shield, and obviously we're talking about a dueling situation here. You know, or or, or, or combat between two individuals with shields. We're not talking about um, being on a on a shield wall, okay, or, or being you know part of a larger unit. In a um, you know, in in in, in 
in, 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 in um, shield combat between two individuals, um, the tempo usually is the two people will come in, they'll strike, there'll be like three, four blows, some exchanges, and then, and then basically they'll usually come apart, they'll come back together. Um, now, of course, you could have one person who decides that they don't want to, you know, but basically after I come in, I'll, I'll make a couple strikes, I'll usually pull back to reassess. Um, you know, of course, the other person has the option to just continue to press and press and press. Um, you know, usually that will get them killed faster because when they're pressing, 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 um, they stop thinking. Okay, now basically they're just swinging. Um, and with the full size shield, I have, you know, I have so much defense that that if if, if they if they open up, um, I'm I'm gonna I'm they're gonna get hit basically. Okay. Um, so 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 fighting with, with full size shield is very different than the type of fighting that we can see from uh, from from sword and buckler or with long sword. So just something to keep in mind, um, you know, as you guys are practicing. Okay. Uh, talk to you guys next time.